Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. So today we're going to be reacting to an amazing video. This will be I googled the definition of feminist. Guys, this is going to be amazing. And please, guys, I have I may no disrespect to anyone, but you watch any recommendation. Please recommend a video for me to check it out in my comment section, guys. Let's get straight into this. And this video is actually sponsored by ProAim. They made this possible. They sell amazing glasses, and I can tell you, you can turn to model with those glasses, guys. Let's go straight into this. I googled the dictionary definition of a feminist just to make sure I was talking about the right thing. And do you know, sir, what the dictionary definition of a feminist is? I didn't either. Listen to this. Webster defines a feminist as a human being, not a woman, a human being that believes in equal rights for women. I was shocked that that's what that meant. Because by that definition, mm -hmm. I would consider myself a feminist. And a I feminist. didn't even know that at the time. That is true. All these years, I thought it meant frumpy dyke. <laughs> well, that's who's always talking to be some chicken overalls. Men are trying to rape us. Ah, not you, bitch. Me, please. I know, look, listen, listen. I, I support the feminist movement, I do, in my own ways. When you guys did the Women's March, I tried to go and support you. And none of my friends would go with me. I asked all the fellas, none of them wanted to go. I tried everything. Come on, y'all, it's gonna be bitches there. They was like, nope. <laughs> so what I did is I called my friend Ange. Ange is a black woman who's a comedy writer and she's dope, matter of fact, Matter of fact, she's the only woman that I know personally that pays her ex-husband alimony. And she wow. sounds just like a man when she does it. Fuck that broke motherfucker and all that. She says all that shit. <laughs> so I hit Ange up and I, I hit her on the text. And all I did, I texted her, I said, Ange, are you going to the Women's March? A and she texted me back and this is a real text. She said, <laughs> She said, I hope those white bitches get tear gassed. <laughs> There's a problem in that feminist movement, isn't there? From its inception in America, there's always been a racial component. When Susan B. Anthony was having that meeting and Sojourner Truth's black ass showed up. Read your history books. All the white women asked Sojourner Truth not to speak. They didn't want to conflate the issues of women's rights and slavery. But you know how black bitches are, Sojourner Truth went up there anyway. <laughs> she did a famous speech, she said, ain't I a woman? Ain't I a woman? That's right, and, and listen, listen, listen. I, I supported the Me Too movement, but, but the whole time, the whole time I thought that the way they handled that was stupid. <laughs> it was, it was white, it was like, <laughs> they were doing shit like going to the Golden Globes and, and all of them would be like, let's all go to the Golden Globes and wear black dresses to give these men a piece of our minds. Bitch, that is not gonna work. You think Martin Luther King's gonna be like, I want everybody to keep riding the bus, but wear matching outfits. <laughs> you gotta get off the bus and walk. Yeah. It's real talk, a real talk that was a silly movement. I want everybody to wear a crocheted pussy hat so they know we're serious. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck was y'all doing? And then I said something about it in one of my specials and all these women actresses came after me. I said, man, fuck y'all too, you canceled. I ain't jerking off to none of your pictures again. <laughs> they were like, who is he to tell us anything? I'll tell you exactly who I am. 
I'm the one that got off the bus and left $50 million on the bus and walked. I agreed with these women. I just didn't agree with what they were doing about. Right, right. No, it was annoying as fuck. Because if these women were serious, you know what they would have done? They all would have fired their agents. And they would have went to the mailroom of one of these big agencies and found a woman that was busting her hump in there and said, if you want to talk to us, then you have to talk to her. And if they did that, then she would be big and they would be big and nobody would get fed to Harvey Weinstein. But did they do that? <laughs> No. Was that their idea? No. Surprisingly, it was mine. <laughs> what I think the feminist movement needs to be very successful is a male leader. <laughs> I'll do it. I will. I will lead you women to the promised land. I will make sure you get equal pay, equal work. I will make sure that nobody harasses you or fucks with you on the job. I will protect all of your interests and all that I ask for in return. Is that you suck my dick? <laughs> and now we're right back to square one, aren't we? And now we get to the core of the crisis. What, what is a woman? What is that in this day and time? Is there even such thing as a woman or a man or anything? Hmm, hmm, seems to be a question nowadays. Now listen, women get mad at me, gay people get mad at me, lesbians get mad at me, but I'm gonna tell you right now, this is true. These transgenders, these niggas want me dead. I've gone too far, I've said too much. <laughs> and I gotta tell you, I'm very worried about it. I'm not even joking. Every time I come out on stage, I be scared. I be looking around the crowd, searching for Knuckles and Adam's apples to see where the threats might be coming from. <laughs> oh. A nigga came up to me on the street the other day. He said, careful Dave, they after you. I said, what? One they or many they's. <laughs> Before I even say anything about that community, you must know, and I hope you all feel the same way, I am not indifferent to the suffering of someone else. There's laws, the mean laws. In our country, North Carolina passed a law once that said a person in North Carolina must use the restroom that corresponds with the gender they were assigned on their birth certificate. No, 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 no. No, that's not a good law. That's a mean law. No American should have to present a birth certificate Take a shit at Walmart in Greensboro, North Carolina where the baby shot and killed a motherfucker. <laughs> you have to ask yourself if you're thinking about it, who are these laws designed to protect? Like, let's say they designed this law to protect me, my interests. Transphobic comedian Dave Chappelle. And let's say that I'm, uh, I'm in Walmart uh, doing a little shopping with my family. Now, I should tell you, if that ever happens in real life, you should know that my dreams didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> but let's say something goes horribly wrong and there I am in Walmart with the poor whites rummaging around for mediocre goods and services. And then I gotta go to the restroom. So I excuse myself from my family, I go to the men's room. Now I'm standing at the urinal, taking a leak. And, and, and this is what this law is gonna do. And suddenly, a woman 
walks into the men's room. I'm gonna be like, that's strange. <laughs> and then she stands shoulder to shoulder with me at the urinal. I'm gonna be like, ugh, bitch, what's going on with you? <laughs> and then she hikes her skirt up and pulls a real live meaty dick out. And what do you think I'm gonna say? <sighs> Thank God she's in here with me. <laughs> At least now I know my family's safe. Mm -mm. No, I'm not gonna feel that way at all. I'm gonna feel very uncomfortable. I would feel better if it was a man with a vagina. <laughs> but backed up to the urinal next to me. I wouldn't even think about that. I'd just be like, hmm, that's funny. <laughs> this guy is peeing out of his butt for some reason. <laughs> oh my God, he must be a veteran. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Guys, this is bad. Like, this is bad. Like, well, seriously, if I want to be honest, I feel... I actually support the femi feminist movement because I feel women deserve equal rights. Like, equal rights based on the fact that equal pay. If you are doing equal work with a man, your gender is not supposed to be like a factor for you to get lesser pay than a man. Like, as far as you're doing the work, I feel you should be paid equally if you are doing the work right and it does not actually matter your gender so guys this is actually the end of the video guys tell me what you think about this video leave your recommendation in the comment section guys leave your thoughts i know this is funny as hell but leave your thoughts in the comment section guys i want to read it guys i'll see you next time guys first